Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert with BISP Solutions for Python. This is my third and last part for video series which we started a few days back. And in previous parts, we saw how to extract data from Twitter and store the data into MongoDB. From MongoDB, how to export the data into a JSON and from JSON, how to read that JSON file using Python. So in continuation of that, we would be going to apply clustering on the same data which we have stored into JSON. And uh, the idea behind this whole case study is to just to demonstrate you that how to apply the, the how to use the functionality of Python machine learning on any social media data set. So let's begin and uh, very first thing we would be going to look at the data which we have extracted. So that was the data we extracted from Twitter and from MongoDB and stored into JSON. So let me edit with Notepad++ and that's the data set we have created with various nodes. And uh, just to demonstrate it more, let me expand it and uh, just paste it in a separate tab. So I'll just paste it in a separate tab and format as JSON format. And we have various nodes like created at ID, text, truncated, entities. Then in sources, we have then users is there. In within users, we have entities and entities, we have description. So we can, while reading the data in Python, we would be using the nodes. And while using nodes, we need to take care of the hierarchy. So now let's have a look how to read it once again the data into Python and how we are going to visualize it. So let me create. Let me open one Python shell and the very first command will be import JSON. Import pandas as PD import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt that's a uh, graphics directory and for applying clustering i would be using k means so i write here from sk learn dot cluster import k means and along with that, I want to import numpy as np. So very first, I'm creating main function like we created in previous video. So I write tweet underscore files. And in this tweet underscore files, we would be capturing the, we'll be providing the file name. And my location for this file will be on my C drive, C drive, Salesforce. So it's C drive, Salesforce file name i just rename it file name slash file name dot json so i would be reading this file and uh, i'll create one array for this tweets where we would be storing all the tweets within this array so for file in tweet underscore files with open file in reading mode as f and we would be reading line by line for line in f dot read lines we would be reading line by line and we would be appending it to array so appends JSON dot loads line and finally populate underscore we would be invoking function and in that function I would be passing this array tweets array so let's save this and uh, I'll just give name as Twitter clustering and I'll just test it. 
so okay for it should be f dot read line and it's a proper indentation should be there it should be proper intended and that's it so this code executed successfully now uh, we are creating this function populate tweets function so i'll create this function that df def definition for populate underscore tweet it would be getting the tweets and here we would be i'm creating a panda so df is equal to pd dot i'm creating a data frame because the data we the tweets we would be reading from json and we would be storing them into data frames so that it would be easy to create clustering on top of that or to plot them on charts so very first thing i'm i want i would like to read the text so from tweet i want to read this text and for doing this i write df text node is equal to list mapping will be done lambda text so text lambda sorry tweet text and it would be mapped with tweets and uh, i'll just write print tf and now let me invoke this function so i write that if underscore underscore name equal equal underscore underscore main main function will be invoked so you can see we have successfully we are able to successfully read the tweets from the json file now my next requirement is i would like to read the followers count and the friends count my requirement is to 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 extract the followers counts and friend counts and these follower counts and friends counts exist within users and they are numbers so let me quickly create it create 3 df and i would be using the same name follower counts i would be using the same name follower counts is equal to list map lambda tweet and this exists in user so i just add one more category that is text uh, users and follower counts dot tweet and let's do one thing let's make it hash and test whether it is reading the follower counts or not so you see follower counts are reading now uh, i want follower counts and friends counts so i'll just copy this so we would be creating a clustering for follower counts and friends counts and put them into clusters using uh, and present this in visualize it by using a scatter plot chart so friends counts and friends counts so we successfully extracted the users follower counts and friends counts from the json and captured and stored them into a data frame now first of all let's try to plot this with you, uh, you uh, by using a simple scatter plot chart so right plt dot scatter and uh, we are not using any clustering right now on x i want to place the follower counts and on y i want to place the friend counts and then i'll demonstrate i'll explain you that what's the difference between the normal plotting and clustering and i write plt dot show and let's test it so you you can see the plotting the 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 friend counts and follower counts has been plotted successfully on x and y axis respectively so let's re, uh, let's label them so plt dot x 
label followers count plt dot y label friends count and so followers counts and friend counts and you can see because there is no clustering applied so all of them they are grouped together they are marked with same colors now that it, and even if we apply if we give some colors so we write c is equal to we can give colors we can explicitly mark with different colors but all the clusters will be marked I means all the nodes all the values or all the points will be marked with same color i i use here c red because there is no clustering here at present so all of them they will be marked with the same nodes and there are no grouping there are no separate clusters are created now what we are going to do i'm going to remove this one and my idea is to put them into uh, clusters by using k means clustering so first of all we would be specifying the number of clusters so i write test cluster is equal to using k means and number of cluster number of clusters is equal to 2 so at present i am defining two clusters we can increase the number of clusters as required so the total records the total values or the total number of points will be divided into two clusters to know more about k means clustering you can preview my previous video you can access my previous video where i have explained what do we mean by k means clustering and how can we apply k means clustering on the uh, default data set or the sample data set which is associated with python and then uh, so what we have done we specified the number of clusters and now i want to specify this data frame we have created i want to associate this with this cluster so we want to divide them into clusters all right test cluster dot fit df so this statement this statement is used to place all the data frame we have created in the form of clusters and the number of clusters are two and uh, i'm specifying my color so i just say color one is equal to np dot array and because the, the number of clusters are two so that's why i'm creating two arrays one for red another one for green and finally we plot the clusters so plt dot scatter df followers count and i would be writing the c is equal to it would be based on the color one so we have two colors and number of clusters are two and the cluster will be test cluster dot labels so color one and uh, test cluster name so our cluster is test cluster where i test cluster dot labels underscore and so let's test it now and uh, here we have two clusters the number of clusters are two and we we specify them with two colors red and green color and in, in this scatter plot on x-axis follower counts on y-axis we have friend counts and the clusters would be uh, the coloring will be based on the number of clusters according to the label so when we test it when we execute it on x we have follower counts on y we have friend counts and you can see only one will be marked with green and the rest of them will be marked in red and as you know that the clusters will be divided uh, the clusters gets distributed based on the uh, equilibrium distance and here these clusters are closer as comparative to this cluster now if what if if we increase the number of clusters so let's suppose i increase the number of clusters and uh, i would be defining three colors so red green and uh, blue and let's test it now so now we have three clusters and you can see it gets divided into three clusters one cluster is for because they are very close enough second based on uh, equilibrium distance and third cluster is far ahead in same manner we can increase the number of clusters i know that i have got millions and trillions of records 
and I want to divide those. I want to divide them into four or five clusters so we can do that. If I'm if as soon as uh, like I'm increasing the number of clusters and they marked with different colors. So they are very close enough. So they marked with red. They marked with blue and they marked with yellow and the remaining one marked with green because they are far ahead. So this is how the how we can apply the K means clustering on Twitter data, which we have extracted from Twitter's account stored into JSON uh, stored into MongoDB from MongoDB. We exported into JSON and finally we import JSON into Python and we apply the clustering on top of it. So that's that's all in this video. If you have some queries, you can post your questions in comment box. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.